Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Kevin Hart situation. So if you guys do not know, when it rains, it damn pours, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys remember two years ago, we covered on this channel about Kevin Hart cheating on his McRib, a.k.a. and Nico. And so what happened is that um, this tape leaked of Kevin Hart smashing this woman named Montia Sabag. And so it went viral. Kevin Hart claims that he was being extorted. So in order not to pay the extorters, he came out and just admitted to cheating on Aniko and everything else, okay? I admit, I admit that I did. I fuck my girlfriend's best friend. Yeah. So the person that was extorting Kevin Hart was his own best friend who had been part of his crew for years, okay? So now what's going down is this. Montia Sabag is now suing Kevin Hart for $60 million. Yes, you heard me correctly, $60 million. Like they say, start high and work your way damn down, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this article. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So TMZ is reporting Kevin Hart's sex tape partner claims Hart conspired with a friend to secretly record their encounter and now she's suing him for $60 million. Montia Sabag claims in a new lawsuit obtained by TMZ, her 2017 encounter with Hart in a Vegas hotel room was all planned by Hart and JT Jackson, his friend who was later arrested for extortion. She says that Hart was motivated by publicity, the need to get more, especially with an upcoming comedy tour. And that's why he and JT allegedly hid the camera. The suit claims that Hart allowed Jackson into the Cosmopolitan Hotel suite so he could set up the hidden video recording devices to capture the liaison. Jackson was later charged with two counts of extortion relating to alleged efforts to get money out of Hart to keep the tapes under wrap. Jackson denied ever extorting the comedian. Hart has repeatedly denied having any knowledge of the recording, claiming he too was a victim of Jackson's extortion temp. You recall Kevin Hart later apologized for his infidelity, which he was adamant that nobody would profit off of his mistakes. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. In my personal opinion, I'm going to need Montia Sadbag to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up, okay? This is nothing more than an extortion plot by her. Now, I'm no big fan of Kevin Hart and his infidelities and his fuckery, okay? But this is extortion at its best. First and foremost, I refuse to believe that Montia had no idea that Kevin Hart was married or at the very least in a relationship. So it's funny that you had no problem fucking someone who was married or in a relationship, but now all of a sudden you're the victim and you feel like you should be rewarded with $60 million. On top of that, it doesn't make sense that Kevin Hart and his so-called friend JT would plan this. Why would Kevin Hart need your ass as publicity to basically help his comedy tour? He doesn't need you for publicity. He's Kevin Hart. He has millions of followers. Anything he does sells out. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't need the publicity of some tramp from Las Vegas to help him sell a comedy tour, okay? So, you know, you need to stop with your delusions of grandeur. He did not use you for publicity. If anything, it really messed him up in the public eye. If anything, that whole situation made people like me and several others just really not fool with Kevin Hart no more because it seems like he's always fucking around on his significant other, okay? At the end of the day, like I said, when it rains, it pours. You know, and hopefully Kevin will have his McRib not only soothing those broken ribs that he experienced, but also, you know, not running to go get a divorce because at this point, I'm sure this is a lot for Nico to deal with. You know, for this woman to wait two years after the fact and then also wait while Kevin Hart is dealing with all this stuff from the accident, he's dealing with back issues, he's dealing with a lot of scrutiny right now. For her to run and go try and file a lawsuit, to me, seems very, very calculated. She knows Kevin's friend JT, you know what I'm saying, who was the so-called mastermind behind hiding the tapes and trying to extort Kevin. She knows a lot of this falls on JT's lap, but because JT is broke, he has no money. She's trying to run and go sue Kevin. And I see through the bullshit. 
I'm not buying what the hell she's selling, nor do I feel sorry for her because she knew damn well she was messing with a married man or at the very least somebody who was in a relationship, okay? If you knew Kevin enough to fuck him after only knowing him a few hours, you knew enough that he had a wife slash girlfriend, okay? So I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. You know who he is, but you don't know nothing about, you know what I'm saying, this whole drama between him, Tori, and Aniko. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning this gold digger Montia Sabag, who is now popping up two years later to try and get that damn bag. Do you feel like she deserves $60 million? Or do you feel like she needs to go sit down somewhere and she's only looking to try and get attention and get money out of Kevin because she knows damn well his broke ass friend JT has no money to give her, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to be a part of the damn notification squad. All right, deuces. <laughs>